What's going on guys? Mark from Reaper Airsoft here and today we're going to do a little troubleshooting 101. Um, this is a buddy's gun. It's the old school Elite Force CQC. This thing's been beat. It's been abused. As you can see it's dusty. It's missing its charging handle. Tape stickers all over it. Um, you drop this off probably late October, right before one of our events to have it check that now I'm just finally getting to it so I figure I'd show you guys what we do to make sure everything's okay and everything's you know right inside the gun and how we diagnose to see what's going on now I don't remember what he said was wrong so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the stock off so the stock there we need a battery Give me one second here we'll grab a 9.6 the first thing you know when you're, you're trying to figure out what's wrong with the gun you're always going to test it now it's firing in a safe direction all right so that sound right there i don't know if you guys can hear that now that sound right there means that something's locked up it doesn't want to turn um there's power getting to the motor trying to turn but it doesn't want to turn which it could very well be you know something stupid something locked up um, so just to double check that the battery's not dead you got two other batteries. So you always want to make sure your battery's not dead. You don't want to have to tear apart a gun if your battery's not dead. So always double check. New battery, same thing. Third battery real quick. And if you don't have an extra battery, um, you don't know if your battery's bad or if you don't know if the gun's just bad or what's going on, see if you can borrow a buddy's battery. But I always like to assume it's a dead battery over anything else before I proceed any further, just because 90% of the time it is. Um, so we tried three different batteries. This thing's not moving, it's not turning, it's not spinning. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the motor out. And we're not really going to pull the motor out all the way. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm not really paying attention to where it's sitting at the camera at the, right, at the moment. But in the base of your pistol grip, you're going to have two screws. One, two... Don't touch this screw, this is your motor height adjustment. Um, his motor height shouldn't be too far in, it's not, it doesn't look like it's too far out. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna pop this thing out real quick. Grab the battery again. Battery's hooked up, semi-auto. Motor's spinning freely. Motor sounds like it's working, no issue. Everything sounds like it's correct. Um, so what I like to do is I like to push the motor down by hand. Now you don't want to shove it all the way in. You don't want to leave it loose. But you want to go in far enough that you know it's going to connect. Fires. Alright, so what that tells me is it was probably, um, you know, just in an oddball position. So I'll do it again without the motor plate all screwed down, but I'll hold the motor plate where it was. Good to go. So we are literally not even, I don't even think we're five minutes into this so far, and it's, it's good to go. Uh, I'm thinking what may have happened was the motor, the battery may have died while he was playing at one point. The spring was probably pulled back towards the rear of the gun, so it was probably compressed a little more. The motor was cocked and under tension, which makes it a little harder for the motor to turn if it's you know under tension or if it's sitting wrong. Um, so the easiest thing to do a lot of times is literally just, you know, a new battery or unscrew the motor plate, let the motor come out, reseat the motor, and you're good to go. I mean, that right there, guys, it's something you can do on your own. All you needed was a Phillips and a battery to test it. Um, it could save you labor rate from a tech doing it. Um, typically for stuff like this here at Reaper, we don't really charge because it took us less than five minutes to fix. There wasn't really anything wrong. It was just, you know, just not sitting right. So we typically don't charge for that, but some techs may charge you for that service right there. But now you know. I mean, just it's worth a shot. Just unscrew it, pop the motor out, reseat it, screw it back in, you know, pull the trigger. Now, if this didn't work... And, and you know you're sitting there and say the battery's hooked up don't just sit there and hold the trigger down um, if the motor is not turning if the gearbox isn't rotating and you got the battery hooked up and you're just holding this down what this is going to do is this 
this is going to fry everything. This is literally going to fry your battery, your motor, everything. Um, because what's happening is your motor's trying to turn. If it's not turning, there's all that power there that's not being utilized because the motor's not turning, and all that power has to go somewhere. So it typically turns into heat. You know, 99% of the time, if it can't do what it's supposed to do, all that energy that's going through on that completed circuit, it's going to turn to heat. And what's going to happen is you're going to melt your wires, you're going to melt the motor, you're going to fry the battery, you're going to fry the trigger, you're going to do more damage than you are good just by holding it down. It's not If it's not going to go when you just tap it real quick, it's not going to go. Um, some other things to keep in mind is your battery may just not be strong enough to get it over a hump. So say... Say the piston is all the way pulled back. I think I have a piston sitting around here somewhere. We'll do this is a uh, this is a VFC piston from from like the M27s 417. So, say your piston normally sits up here, springs behind it. When your when your motor pulls the piston back, turns the gears and pulls the piston back, it'll come all the way back. Now, if your battery or your motor is not strong enough to get it completely 100% of the way back, say it stops here, and it needs to be here before it releases, there's a lot of oomph needed, a lot of power, a lot of torque that needs to be generated. For this to go over so say your 9.6 volt battery just doesn't have enough power or anything you can try an 11 one lipo same concept you can hook the battery up tap the trigger see if it'll get see if it gives it enough power to pull the spring back you know compress the spring back with the piston and then release it to finish the cycle that way it stops up here because it's easier to start the cycle here and continue the momentum all the way back to release than it is to try and start the cycle here to generate enough momentum to get it to release and go forward um but the same thing with the with the 11 one lipos there's a lot more power to those so you have a greater chance of frying everything including the lipos and the lipos are a little more uh, sketchy because they can't catch on fire so like i said if you have that issue and it's stuck and it doesn't don't hold it just tap tap and don't keep it's not going to fix it you're just going to damage the gun if you notice that when, when it was stuck i'd sit there and i'd go all right not going not going something's up let's see what's going on so um, just the process of elimination now if it doesn't compress if it doesn't cycle after you do that and you try a bigger battery then more than likely something is wrong inside the gearbox that you have to reset everything it may it may just not have enough power in the motor to cycle it over um, or there may be something else that's wrong I mean I've seen catastrophic failures with the gear teeth or you know stripped and then there's a piece that's caught in a gear set and it's just jammed up and it won't let it turn um, or in the cases a lot of times a piston again if you have a jam and you keep firing everything's based off of compression so if your compression's really good and you have no air leaks and there's a BB stuck in your hop up and your gun goes to fire well this piston's not going to slide forward all the way like it's supposed to so what's going to happen is it's going to come halfway forward by the time the gear set completes its next rotation so when your gear set's supposed to be picking up the piston to start the next cycle instead of your piston being up here completed it's halfway back so what happens is your piston could be all the way back but you still have you know six more gear six six more teeth on the gear trying to push it back further and it won't go back any further um and like i said this is caused by a compression jam here because the piston has nowhere to push that air so the air restricts the piston from going forward and then the gear set catches again and locks that thing to the rear. So in that situation you're going to 100% have to take it apart and be careful taking it apart because everything is under tension. It'll make it go boom. You'll have spring over there, spring guide comes out flying with force. You can even break the front end of your gearbox shell because when it releases, if it's split too far apart, this may release from the gear come all the way forward and only hit one side of your shell so one side of your shell would be taking all of the force so half half of the shell will take all of the force that normally the whole gearbox screwed together locked in nice and tight and secure only half of that front end and you can rip that front end right off no issue so when you have a case where it's jammed back you got to watch but luckily this was a quick unscrew it reseat it make sure everything's right and we're good to go. Um, any questions, concerns, or if you have a question on your gun of what's happening or what may cause it to happen, leave a message down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I know it's been a while since I've done a video here. We've been a little tied up, so hopefully I can get some more here now that the holiday seasons are over and it's past New Year's. Hopefully you guys had a good New Year's, but 
Like I said, leave a comment below. I'll try and get to each comment. If you have an issue with your gun, I'll try and walk you through it. That way we can get it fixed. Um, and hopefully it's something as stupid or simple as this that you can get out and play again and not have a paperweight sitting there. So if you guys could, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know if you need help on anything. We'd greatly appreciate it. You guys have a good day.